What's going on, man? <clears throat> Back on the Saints Row 1 shit. So we about to head right into this shit, man. Anyway, dude, as y'all can see, <clears throat> I couldn't even save my Vice King shit. Hold up, wait for this nigga to finish talking. I swear, like, Troy or something must have, that nigga, he must have got his people on the phone to uh, catch Julius or some shit in that last cutscene. But y'all didn't even get to see that cutscene because, uh, basically, I'm going to make a video on it, but my hard drive broke the old hard drive I was using. And I had, like, at least four stacks of gameplays on that hard drive. So, that shit had... Me finishing up the Vice Kings, I think it had some Mortal Kombat gameplay on there. It had just a bunch of shit. So I, I got a I got a new hard drive, a sturdier one. It's a brick and it's a terabyte. But uh that shit pissed me off, man. I mean, damn. I think what I might do is I'm I might just once I finish this shit up, I'm I'm just gonna go back uh later later on and do like a saints row one re revised and i'm gonna do everything right with a uh with a better camera and all that shit okay hold up fuck that you're not taking me out yes yeah, so i'm gonna go back in after i play saints row 2 saints row 3 gta san andreas vice city gta i'm gonna be playing midnight club 3 all these games and i'm gonna just go back and do saints row 1 later Cause uh, this, you know what I'm saying, my, my bad, y'all. Or I could do a little special where I go to the movie theater, and um, you know the movie theater in this game, and uh, replay the missions. If y'all want to see me do that with all the cussings and shit like that, just something fun. Just let me comment which y'all would prefer. But my hard drive just had to fuck up, so I apologize for that. But we still finishing the game. I ain't forget about this shit. And we got uh, San Andreas coming up. I got I'm, I got San Andreas coming up, and then I got Midnight Club Three, and then I'ma try to mix both of those in with the reactions. And we still gonna have some Armageddon shit. So those are the mains right now. Matter of fact, I might do my Midnight Club Three jump right after this, cause it's, I only did like two races today, so I might as well. But uh, let me just go ahead and park this bus. Yeah, man, I, I had two reaction videos supposed to be going up today, but, uh, fuck, I'm stuck. But, um, that copyright uh, infringement shit, so I, I went ahead and, uh, I went ahead and, um, filed for fair, fair use. And, and if they don't re reply to me in 30 days, at least I'll get my, uh, my videos uploaded then. So I ain't even tripping. No trip. Shit. Fuck all y'all niggas, that's the fuck y'all get. <laughs> and that's real. So yeah, it says my my uh my dispute has been submitted, so I'm straight. Go ahead, call a taxi. Fuck all that driving shit. I had a Billy Eilish video, man. I had another daylight vid. 
I had all that shit, and I'm I'm getting I'm still trying to get used to doing the reactions off the computer now, and rather than my phone. But it's a little tricky. But we getting there, man. We getting there. <laughs> Is you wanna go, my dog? What the fuck? <clears throat> Hold up. Let's get it. Oh man. Yeah man, that, that hard drive shit really pissed me off, dude. I mean for real. I remember the day I was trying to go ahead and um record the gameplay I had got done and that shit was just it just it just came hey, out. What the fuck is Julius? Have you heard back from Monroe? work but I don't think I can let Julius go until you do a little more community service we'll be in touch fuck nigga looks like we wait why so we can let this jag off jerk us around fuck that and what would you rather do you know exactly what I'd like to do Johnny we're not blowing up City Hall I'm just saying it would solve a lot of problems what if they're keeping Julius there all right that shit kind of crazy though when you really think about it. Like, you're right. I know Troy got this nigga uh, Julius locked up. I just don't. I just. And you can bet your ass that people would ask questions if the chief of police wasn't at his. I mean, how did he become chief of police though? In two years, my nigga. For taking out the Saints. Cause Gaines came came right after that in uh Saints Row Two. Yeah. Don't tease me, Dex. Matter of fact, um. I think we killed. I think we killed the chief of Monroe in this mission right here. All right, let's get going. Johnny's gonna and they, 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 uh, they hired Troy to be the next chief since he knew about the gangs and shit. Cause he, since he was in it, that's just my theory. But uh, we only get one chance at this, so we can't fuck this up. Once we hit Monroe, you know these... we better get out of there quick. The last thing we want is to make a big scene. These niggas have these niggas have volition don't like to dive into their plot like that. So you know you it's up to the fans to speculate. It's a whole bunch of bullshit. You're damn right. You're damn skippy. Damn, I really wish we had uh skip travel. Oh, and, um, actually, you know, I'm not going to even ask that yet, because I still got a lot of, uh, we we still got a lot of time before we even get to that, so I'm not going to even ask that yet. <laughs> we still got, like, what, two, three, like, three, four more games to get through. That shit going to be a brick. That shit is going to be a brick. Uh, uh, I might not wait that long. I'm gonna finish Midnight Club 3, San Andreas, and Saints Row 2, maybe. Would y'all rather see Saints Row 2 or GTA 3 first? Let me know. That's what I'm trying to debate. That is what I'm trying to debate. And um I got gameplay of uh what you call it? Well Mortal Kombat coming too. I ain't forget about them shits neither. I might hop into the conquest mode. I don't know if I wanna do that on this channel on my backup though. He'll be giving us cover if things go bad after the hit. Probably the backup. Take this. When the funeral procession comes into view, take out Monroe. He'll be the one in the cop car. Shit, I remember there being like five of them shits. If you're gonna need a rocket launcher. What? Hey, yo, now that I think about it, the protagonist stand kind of like uh, <laughs> feminine. Fuck 
fucked it. You damn right. They warring in the streets. Hey, we got somebody. Let's get the hell up out of here. Get in, nigga. Damn. Hey. <laughs> we just gonna leave you. That shit just wasn't meant to be. That shit just not was was not meant to be, my nigga. Damn, niggas. I might have to repair this one too, cause these cops is wildin'. Cause I'm definitely gonna fuck around and do GTA 3 before Vice City. I know I'm gonna do that. Oh, and niggas, I got Need for Speed Underground too. Not Underground 2, the game Underground, like the first one. I might get Underground 2 soon, cause just cause no tracks in that bitch. But anyway, man, let's head to this last this shit. That was quite a message you sent at Winslow's funeral. And trust me, I heard it loud and clear. I just think like get my number anyway. It was Monroe's plan to strong arm the Saints. Personally, I've always thought you and I could have a much healthier relationship. Now we have a start, yes, but why don't we fix that? Come over to my fundraiser tonight. Julius will be there, and between the three of us, I'm sure we can make something out. I'm sorry I ever misjudged you. I don't even think I don't even think Julius set the bomb, cause I think he he was trying to. I don't know. I think that nigga was trying to get me just killed by Mon Monroe's men and shit. Because if you notice, he said that Julius is going to be there just now and, and him. And the three of us was going to have a conversation. So, either, either he didn't tell, he didn't let Monroe know that he wasn't coming. And, and, uh. Okay, so either he set off the bomb and didn't sh and didn't tell Monroe that he wasn't coming, like he surprised his ass. Cause my obviously Monroe was surprised by the bomb, or he didn't know about the bomb in the first place. Nah, cause then who would have set the bomb? Okay, he had to set that bomb, so he didn't he didn't let Monroe know that he wasn't coming. I don't know these volition niggas and they plot holes, <laughs> cause it didn't make sense. Cause my role said Julius and, and and me we was gonna be there. <clears throat> this is a weird ass ending. It's still about to end in the Saints World Three though, and four of course. <laughs> There's no way it's like fuck you nigga that's a tupac thing to do too except this nigga wouldn't be that quiet possible happen and for that i can't thank you enough i mean had winslow been the only person killed attention would have definitely been cast on me but after that fireworks display you pulled at his funeral it's become abundantly clear these horrible crimes were perpetrated by the third street saints Mm. Before people criticized my Saints Row urban renewal plan, it is now being lauded. See until you can tell us something we don't know, Nicky. Displacing poor people. Now I'm destroying a hotbed of gang activity. What can I say? The public is fickle. Shit. Shit. He wasn't destroying nothing. We was running the city to this cousin. We learned that there are only two types of people in this world: race, money, gender. None of this matters. 
At the end of the day, you're either a winner or a loser. Loser's fine ass. I hear how they made her a stick figure in the second one. Is that in order for me to be a winner? Oh, but to be fair, everybody was though. Your neighborhood and salt the earth. Hold on for a moment. Steven, could you come in here? Like Sands World 2 is a great game that has such a weird physics engine. Oh, yes. Physics oh, engine. Now I suppose I could try to pay you off. But really, what's the point? You just say no. Or in your case, stand there looking intimidated. Well, not physics engine, it's just how the game looks. So I figured I'd cut the middle man and get right to the point. Hey, Compared to this one. This shit up, I want to go to Freckle Bitches. <laughs> I wasn't even noticing this nigga talking. He's nigga talking so much. But if it makes it any easier on you, I'll be sure to thank you. That nigga say, hey, speed that shit up. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a party to... Fucked up, man. If you notice, my character didn't even look shook. Like, if it wasn't for the explosion, he, bro, he was confident he could take them niggas out behind him. I know he was. But anyway, man, that's the ending of the first game, dude. Again, apologies for fucking up uh the Vice King's ending. I might just go ahead and um, might just go ahead and replay them shits in the theater. But if not, if y'all want to see me get to other games, then we can do that shit too. You know what I'm saying? But be on the lookout for uh San Andreas and Midnight Club Three. Them gonna be my my two like main playthroughs I'm going through next. Um probably Midnight Club Three first just because I got farther in that. But uh yeah man. Stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for more reactions. I'm still getting this shit set up on the computer. That shit is looking good dude. Request what y'all want me to react to. Shit, my fault is late at night. Request what y'all want me to react to. And I'm gonna get straight into that shit. And that's it, man. At the vote. Peace. Telling us to pull over, we keep going on a high speed chasing the law. Out on parole, swerving out of control with the gas pedal to the floor. On a death wish, driving reckless with no headlights. Running through roadblocks and we ain't stopping at red lights. That's how the game goes. Switch up and change clothes. Watch your back when you walk through the streets of St. Road, nigga. Stand up. Somebody gonna be laid down. Stand up. Weather music or four pounds. Stand up. Ain't no need to know me well. We can get the drama popping, homie. I won't tell. Somebody gonna be laid down. Where the music of four pants. Ain't no need to know me well. We can get the drum popping on me. I'm into the real world where corrupt cops and vigilantes lurk. Henchmen put in position to do my handiwork. Mom bosses hire hitmen to get your family murdered. No matter right or wrong, remember to put your family first. We in the gutter, watching for undercover, slinging butter. Posted up on the corners, me and my brothers. Sex, money, and drugs, the hungriest thugs. Sleep with my burner and wash with my gun in the tub. Posted up in the back of the club, we doing it. That's a nice outfit on your back, don't make me ruin it. First class service shots like a stewardess. Gun out the host and now come a little closer so you can view the fit. Blood stains, bullets are genuine, so you fluidless. Barely escape with the joys of life when your view it flips. That's how the game goes, switch up and change clothes. Watch your back or fall flat in the traps. The same role player. Somebody gonna be laid down. Where the music of four pounds. Ain't no need to know me well. We can get the drama popping, homie, I won't tell. Somebody gonna be laid down. Where the music of four pounds. Ain't no need to know me well. We can get the drama popping, homie, I won't tell. This just into the newsroom, a deadly explosion has rocked the waterfront. Our Jane Valderrama is already at the scene. Jack, waterfront residents and the press who were setting up their cameras and microphones to cover the gala fundraiser scheduled for mayoral candidate Hughes' campaign were treated to an amazing sight a few moments ago as the yacht registered to the alderman exploded in a shower of brass and mahogany. We were a safe distance away, so no one here was injured, as, as far as we can tell. But we have no word as to who, if anyone, was actually aboard. We don't know how this happened, why this happened, or even who was on the boat, if anyone, as no survivors have been located. 
I was inside the press tent when it happened, but witnesses outside say that the peaceful, serene evening was suddenly punctured by a vicious explosion that not only reduced the alderman's yacht to a pile of floating debris, but knocked out windows and swamped smaller boats throughout the marina. Jack? Jane, while you were giving that report, we attempted to contact Alderman Hughes' press secretary, and there was no answer. Do we know where the alderman is? No, we do not, Jack. I've asked around, and no one from the press corps noticed any official movement on the boat, as it's early in the evening, and the event was not scheduled to begin for another couple of hours. Do we know if this was an accident or yet another attempt on the life of a public official? Jack, we don't have any definitive answers on that, and with almost no details emerging yet, we still do not know if this was something as silly as a galley or a fuel tank explosion. But in the light of recent events, we cannot rule out the possibility that this was more than just an accident. Reporting live from the waterfront, this is Jane Valderrama. Back to you, Jack. Thank you, Jane, and stay dry. Stay tuned as we get more details on this unfolding event. We will bring them to you immediately. In the newsroom, I'm Jack Armstrong.